Hello everyone, this is TechBizmo, and I am finally proud to say that I am back doing YouTube. I mean, you know, not back 100% because, uh, yeah, I have a couple of announcements. So, let's get started with those announcements. Now, obviously, by the title of this video, I'm going to be, today, I'm going to be reviewing Elementary OS. Now, this is a typically hated distro, however, I still wanted to uh, make a review of this to see why people dislike it so much, because um, I've barely explored around Elementary OS, I haven't really looked at it that much. I've never even used it, um, I've only reviewed it once, uh, which that was a failure video, and, you know, I deleted a while back. Um, I don't know, I might have even uploaded one previously, but I'm still going to be making this one. Well, anyway, let's go ahead and get into the uh, announcement. So, the first announcement is that, yes, I am back. But, um, there's a little bit of a problem to that. So, I am starting a new schedule. Um, the, what I'm going to be switching is now, with YouTube, I am planning on doing... Um, one video every two days, or, you know, that that's the minimum amount. I'll at least have one video every two days, or every, or, or every, um, or every other day, I'd say, actually, um, but, you know, we'll see, that's just gonna be the minimum, but, you know, most of the time, it's still going to be, uh, you know, two videos every, every other day and stuff, you know, when I can fit that in, I still have, you know, stuff like a big civics project I'm working on, you know, I haven't even started on because I'm slacking on it, um, yeah, I'm probably gonna start it last minute, um, <laughs> but yeah, um, another, uh, thing is that I am turning 13 in exactly a month, I am turning 13 in March, um, 15, um, not going to mention the exact date that I was born. You know, you guys can go ahead and do that math if you'd like. Um, but yeah, let's let's get into this review. So the first thing I want to do, I'm going to, since you know, of course, me, I messed up in my MX review. I said it was a Debian or a uh, Ubuntu-based distro, Ubuntu derivative, which it's not. Um, I... Uh, I very much am, I, apo I apologize for that, I very much apologize for that, and, uh, yeah, so just to verify, I am going to start opening up DistroWatch now, and just taking a look into DistroWatch. So, the OS type is Linux, of course, based on Debian Ubuntu, so yes, this one is based on Debian Ubuntu, so it does use apt, um, origin is USA, architecture is x86, x64, desktop is Pantheon, I believe it's called, uh, category is beginners, desktop and live, medium status, active and popularity, um, 7, 991 hits per, per day. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and quickly read this description. Elementary OS is an Ubuntu-based desktop distribution. There we go, guys. Ubuntu-based desktop distribution. <laughs> Some of its more interesting features include a custom desktop environment called Pantheon and many custom apps including photos, music, videos, calendar, terminal files, and more. It also comes with some familiar apps like Empathy, Epiphany, Web Browser, and a fork of Geary Mail. So let's get into the review of this video. So yeah, it is based on Debian slash Ubuntu, Ubuntu slash Debian. Um, so yeah, let's get right into this review. So as you can see, I just finished installing it. Um, actually, I believe while I was talking, it was still finishing. So I'm going to go ahead and boot this up to Primary Master. And we'll go ahead and full screen that. Hopefully we don't run up upon any, you know, technical difficulties during this video. So yeah, here we are in the lock screen. This is this is normal, of course, my, uh, you know, typical black bars on the screen in the lock screen. But anyway, let's go ahead and enter our password. And here we are in um, the Pantheon desktop environment in... Um, elementary OS. Um, I'm actually not sure what the version is, but the version will um, be listed in the title uh, if you are curious, and in in the description, of course. Um, you know all the all the stuff about this, all the tips and stuff about this distribution. Not tips. Um, all the things that describe this distribution, I guess, will be in the in the description. Stuff like um, uh, you know the desktop environment, the architecture, I guess the um, the distro um, version. So anyway, let's get into the review. 
Um, go away. <laughs> go away, you darn bottom bar. Okay, there we go. Here we are. So the first thing we're going to look at is our bottom panel. So the applications we have by default on the bottom panel is your multitasking view, your epiphany, web browser, mail, calendar, music, videos, photos, system settings, and app center. And we'll go ahead and get a quick look at the app center. So in here we've got, uh, you know, this is one of the features that really sucks about the default uh, settings of um, elementary OS. It comes with no minimize. Or, um, yeah, no minimize. That's, you know, annoying. Um, yeah, here's just a quick little look at the software center. You know, nothing too too interesting and too awesome and, you know, cool to look at. Just, we'll, we'll look at some more stuff. So, yeah, there's a quick little look in the software center. Of course, you guys will hopefully know what Epiphany is like, but we'll, we'll go ahead and just open that up. I'm going to go ahead and go to DuckDuckGo. Now, keep in mind, guys, this is in a virtual box, so this is going to be slower than normal. And here we are in DuckDuckGo. So uh, after that, we can go ahead and take a look at this top panel, which is, you know, of course, completely transparent, which is actually a nice little default theme with the uh, transparent uh, top bar. So um, first thing we've got is we've got our power and, you know, your account, lock, log out, uh, suspend and shut down. Next thing we have is notifications. So we can turn on do not disturb and it says no notifications. But of course, um, if you did have any notifications, it would show your notifications right there. And then you got notification settings if you want to go ahead and um, change some of those settings. Another thing we have in it is the battery. Um, as you can see, mine is 100% charge. I can also uh, show the percentage, which looks very nice, so we'll leave it like that. We've got our internet connection, any kind of wired or wireless connections you've got. Um, you've got your audio, so your music player, your audio, you can go ahead and adjust that to your, um, to your simple adjustments, however you want it to be. We got our mic as well. So, um, we'll just go ahead and disable those. So, yeah. Um, another thing we have on the panel is our calendar, you know, date and time, all of that. Very simple. Um, so we'll go ahead and have a look at the date and time setting. So, you know, very normal, very basic. You, you know, you just got your time format, time zone, and, you know, network time, and, uh, you know, this sort of stuff. And I, I do like a 24-hour time, so the default, uh, thank you very much for that. Um, the next thing we have is our applications. So, of course, you guys know what this is going to lead you to. Um, this is going to lead you to uh, your YouTube channel, of course. Uh, this is going to lead you lead you to your applications, um, as uh, explained by the name. Um, so we'll take a look at some of these applications uh, in a little bit. Um, actually, the first application we can go ahead and take a look at is the calculator. Now, keep in mind, guys, I'm going to start doing something called distribution reviews um, where they're they're. Uh, you know, a little bit sped up, a little bit um, of on the faster side instead of, you know, me being such a slow poke, you know, just so I have a little bit more time in my day, just so I don't, you know, do such a terrible job. Um, so that doesn't take super long to create, you know, this one still might be up to like 20 minutes, but you know, that's, that's fine. I'm, I'm still going to, you know, try my best to go as fast as I can. Um, you know, actually not as fast as I can, but you know, sort of medium, just, just so, just, um, you know, enough so you guys can understand enough that I show enough applications, all the applications are in uh, included, of course, not all the applications, but you know, a lot of them that are basics that you of course need to take a look at. So. Anyway, enough blabbering. Here we have our calculator. So, of course, what I always uh, input into the calculator is 9 times 9, and that is 81, so that is correct. And the next thing we are going to have a look at, I'm actually going to try this. Nope, doesn't seem like Control-T is configured um, with this distribution. So we'll just go ahead and open up our terminal. And since this is an Ubuntu Debian derivative, um, we do have apt. So I can go ahead and do sudo apt install and then any type of program that I need to install. So of course the uh, program I always install in the terminal when I first get my distribution is Kdenlive since you know I am a uh, editing type of guy. So 
Um, you know, what I what I kind of like about elementary OS is, you know, when it shows the password, it actually shows the digits instead of just completely invisible. And, um, you know, it's very, um, it's it's hidden. You can't see how many digits, but I think it's pretty cool how they show the digits um, by default in the um, elementary OS terminal. Of course, you can configure that in your everyday working distribution. However, I like how it's, you know, just previously defaultly configured in elementary OS. So we'll go ahead and let that install our program install, um, which is Kaden Live. If you guys did not catch that, it is Kaden Live, um, the nonlinear editing software by KDE. Yeah, big shout out to KDE. <laughs> so yeah, we'll just go ahead and let that uh, finish installing so you can see the progress. Um, and here we are. So now we should be able to go to here and yep, there is Kaden Live. So we can launch that up and take a look at our program, you know, start editing how you want. Um, but I'm not going to do that since it's going to eat my CPU um, uh, since I am in a virtual box already. So um, I guess another application we can look at is the calendar, the default calendar program that is uh, that comes with the distribution. So it's very nice. Uh, you know, you can full screen it, make it bigger. If you're an old man and you can't see that, um, you know, just make it bigger. If you got a big display, big 4K or 8K display, um, you can go ahead and full screen that and take a big giant look at that. Um, so yeah, you can also go ahead and I believe, yep, paste an event. So I could do um, 250 subscriber special, which I don't ever do, uh, <laughs> special wrong, um, which I don't ever do, you know, subscriber special since I really do not care at all about my, um, about having, you know, a lot of subscribers. I just, I just do it for fun. And I just think, I just think it's fun, um, to meet these people that are into Linux as much as I am and, uh, as much as pseudo Linux is. And pseudo Linux is really catching up to my YouTube channel. You know, he's already got more, um, I think more views than me, uh, like I think 2,000 more, but you know, that's, that's good for him. Great job, pseudo Linux. Good job, buddy. Um, but yeah, anyway, uh, we can go ahead and move sort of into the applications part of this distribution. I, although I have looked at some of the applications already. Um, so we don't need to look at epiphany. We don't need to look at calendar or calculator or app center. Kaden live. No, um, System settings. So in the system settings, you know, you've got, it's, it's just basic. I'm not going to take a huge look at this since, you know, you see this every single day in a distribution. We got about, um, you know, look at that, the name of the computer and stuff. So we'll just go ahead and close that out um, since this is more of a kind of, you know, quick look sort of review. And, you know, comment below if I'm going too fast for you because I certainly will slow down in my next review. I mean, this isn't going to be a super important review video anyway, since it is, you know, one of the most hated distros of all time. Since it's, since it's kind of, it kind of takes out the purpose of Linux in some ways. Um, but anyway, so in the files, um, we got your, your, you know, your, your the normal uh, folders you have, of course, documents, downloads, music, pictures, public templates, and videos. And, you know, um, you know, recent documents, uh, all of these, we already mentioned them, and trash, file system, entire network, and connect to server. So we'll go ahead and close that out, if I ever can. Um, anyway, um, so we got simple scan, so if I wanted to, I can go ahead and just, uh, go ahead and just plug in my printer to my computer, you know, connect it to that. Um, so we'll quit without saving. There we go. Um, See, I could just go ahead and connect my printer and then start scanning. Um, here's the camera application, but since I do not have any camera on my Dell Latitude E6430, I'm not able to show you guys that. So, yeah, another application we have is the default screenshot um, application. And, you know, you've got some options like grab the whole screen, grab the current window, and select area to grab. And, you know, you can do grab mouse pointer if you want. So, I can go ahead and take a screenshot, and there we have it. So, I just have to click save and now we should have it in our files so I should just be able to I guess head over to photos nope oh here it is so yep we've got our our photo right there you can see it's actually pretty high quality that's it's pretty that's that's something there pretty nice 
all right anyway um so music you know just just a normal little music application included with it uh multitasking view you know if you need to add another workspace you know what whatever fits well for you um you got mail so you can go ahead and connect it to your 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 mail account your um mailing thingy you know i can do other um i believe i can also do stuff like proton mail if if i want to since there is an other um um an other um selection or um pick whatever <laughs> um anyway um another thing we have um is this scratch ooh scratch new file so it's like some kind of document manager hello world this is tech bismo and welcome back to another video today i i will be reviewing um elementary os um and i always forget the desktop environment so let's go ahead and just you know delete that um anyway so um uh, another application some of the other applications we have um let's see we have videos so that's just that's just your uh default video player um if you have any videos on your computer and of course what you can go ahead and quickly do is open up your terminal and type sudo apt install dlc like that and there you should be to, should be able to install VLC Media Player. Um, so you can see it installs pretty fast since it is a lightweight um, and open source media player for Linux, you know. So wait for that. And now we should have VLC. Yep, there we have VLC. Um, you saw how simple that was to install, so. Well, guys, there you have it. There is the full review of Elementary OS. Um, I apologize. I keep forgetting the name of the desktop environment and the um, the um, release um, number. So, well, yeah, guys, um, let me know what you guys think in the uh, comments below. Um, as I said, comment below if you feel like it. You know, like this video if you liked it. Dislike this video if you disliked it. Um, as I said, comment for any questions or comments, you know, just, just let me know what you guys thought, and I, I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching.